you know, that's one thing I have seen when it comes to us, you know, uh, melanated men, because I include myself in there, of course. Um, why is it that when it comes to dating us, it's struggle love? What What is the meaning of struggle love? You know, like, I would think that despite what uh, ethnicity of the person that you're trying to date, you want that person to have some sort of success in their life, you know? to be able to financially support themselves. Why does it why is it seemingly now negative to want to date a man who shares your same skin tone especially if he's, you know, uh not struggling. I think what you have going on is that you have people, okay? You have females who choose men who have nothing. And they're so used to that and they're comfortable because their their mothers or women in their family did it. They're comfortable being the, the, the main breadwinner of the relationship. And what happens is they get tired of that. They get tired of that. But what's interesting is that during that whole time it's usually black males that they're dating during that time. Right. And because of that, I just it, it just seems that. They act like only melanated men, only melanated men is considered to not have money. They're the only ones considered to be broke or not successful, even though there are those out there, you know, like we as men say, you know, there's a lot of women out there that, you know, we don't consider to be marriage material. Um, we don't only see them as women that we smash and dash, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, y'all feel a certain way about us financially, but it's like, well, you chose to date those guys. You chose to date those guys. So because you chose to date those guys and you dealt dealt with them for so long, you should blame yourself for that. You can't sit up there and always blame the other person if you're constantly choosing to date men who are financially struggling. You know, that's a choice that you made. You made that choice. And you have to understand that you made that choice. You know? Now, I'm going to say this. I'm not going to sit here and act like melanated men take care of their business. There are lazy uh, um, melanated males out there who don't take care of their business. They're not out there being able to support themselves and their family. There are guys like that. I'm not saying there aren't. But the thing is, is that you as a female should avoid dealing with those guys. But you have women who will work two, almost three jobs just to support the household, which includes the kids themselves and the dude that they're dating. And they will do this for years. I've seen it. You have attractive females who have their choice of the type of men they can choose and they will still choose a dusty male. To not only procreate with, be in relationships with, and possibly even marry that guy. I remember one time I was at this place, man, and this girl literally asked me to to uh where I worked and were they hiring because she was trying to get her boyfriend or uh, her baby's father, who they were in a relationship, trying to get him a job. Why? Why is that even? Why is that even the case? Why are you even putting yourself in that situation? You know? Why even put yourself in that? And I'm sitting up there confused as to, like, why are you asking me this? You know, but this was some years ago. I was like, what, 24? I think I was 24. And she could, she was looked like she was my age. She had just had a kid with this guy. Cause the guy came into the place and of course, wife beat her <laughs> baggy sagging jeans. Like just, it just looked very stereotypical. Like he was trying to go dreads in his head. Like just very stereotypical. I was like, Oh, okay. I see what she, I see why he can't get no job. I see why he can't get no job. And then you got women who will date guys like that. He, Riding on the passenger side of your car. It's like you're choosing to have those men in between you. You know? 
And it's like, how are you going to blame the whole for the type of men you continuously get with? Your baby's father shouldn't be broke. I'm sorry. If you're going to have a kid with a guy, especially when you are in your 20s or even in your 30s, and you know he ain't working, that is a choice that you made. You made to have struggle love. You chose to um, fight it out. No, I'm saying fight it out. But you chose to be with a guy who can't support himself. Shout out to Naima. Say, j Bay, what's going on? Appreciate that. Shout out to you. Anyway. Shout out to the chat. I just want to know, okay, how you can go years upon years upon years with the struggle love. And then when you ain't got married yet, when you still out here looking and searching and trying to find something and you still don't find it, it's everybody else's fault. You got females on this platform talking about struggle love. They're single moms. They're single moms. But they but they want to talk about how they're against struggle love and, you know, you, you shouldn't um, limit yourself. And it's like, well, wait a minute. Didn't you limit yourself when you decided to procreate with that guy that you're with now who can't find a job? This guy who's 10 years older than you that can't find work. Who's probably sitting on YouTube right now in a comment section or a chat room talking much talking much about y'all meanwhile he is the prototype <laughs> of the type of guys that not only y'all have been talking about but us as men as well have been talking about you know you know he, he he's you know very critical but he's the guy that everybody's talking about <laughs> and it's like that struggle love was good when you were young, right? When you were young and rebellious and you were dating the guy that you liked in high school and, you know, you decided to, you know, settle with him and, you know, he's depressed because he ain't the man like he was in high school because now life has hit him. He has to get, he has responsibility, so he has to go out there and work, you know? So... I want people to understand, man, this whole notion of struggle love has a lot to do with bad choices, man. There's a lot of bad choices going on out there, and they want to deflect on those those bad choices that they have talking about struggle love because they're constantly struggling to find love because they're looking for the wrong men to get with. They're looking to settle with men who can't financially help nobody right now. They're in a bad spot. They can't do anything for anybody else. But you got particular females who are, on, are okay. Uh, they're okay with it as long as he's supplying them with good dizzik. Okay. As long as he's able to give them the drama that they want. Because, you know, low key, there are females out there that love that whole, you know, ex or baby mama drama that they get caught up in. They, they, they love that. They love that. They need something to talk about with their girlfriends. You know. So I think that if you really don't want struggle love, right, you need to focus on not dating men who can't bring anything to the relationship. Why are you dating men who bring nothing to the relationship? You should avoid dating men who, you know, I'm probably going to struggle with that person. But do you have to go all the way over the fence just to find somebody that's working just to find somebody who's not struggling or have good credit? That makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me. So. When we look at the way society is right and we look at what's put out there in the media on social media, um, this stuff is, is not new. But again, women, you got to look at the last 40 years, okay? 
let's go back to the the 70s and 80s you know um the 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 guys that were looked up at were the guys who was out here selling dope gang banging the guys the like the guys who had a presence who could dress in the neighborhoods drive the nice cars you know you have women that were around those type of guys and none of that has really changed so we can say social media has done this and that but a lot of these women were dating these similar type of guys 30 and 40 years ago there's really no difference you know what i'm saying Because I, I, I've overheard women, when I've been out in public, on the phones loudly talking to their friends about some Facebook drama. About a female trying to get with this, you know, trying to get with this married dude or this dude in a relationship. Like, they feed off of that. But then they will get on social media and say, I don't want no struggle love. But you're struggling to hold on to a relationship that's faltering. You know? If you want something that is has substance, somebody that's going to bring something to you that's going to work and, and help you long term, you have to find that. You know, the blame game doesn't work. I tell a lot of men all the time, we, we can't just blame other people. We have to look ourselves in the mirror. We're not perfect. I'm not perfect. There are things I'm still working on because I'm a human being. I'm a young male uh, who's a human being. And still trying to work on things because is you can only but get better, you know. But playing the blame game doesn't always work because you're going to end up feeling empty and lonely at the end of the day. Because if it's always somebody else's fault, you never work on what can make you great, you know. And I know for me. The best thing that, that I think the one of the best lessons I've learned is self-reflection. Stop being so quick to always want to be argumentative or be in challenging everybody else's, you know, thoughts and opinions. You know, just be who you are and live with it because you can only be you. You only get one life. So you have to be that person, you know. We can't really change. Well, I won't say we can't change who we are because we can't improve who we are. But playing the blame game and blaming other people for why your dating life sucks will keep you single. You know? Because hopping over the fence is not going to improve your everyday life. It's not. Hopping over the fence is not going to help you find love as much as you think it is because there have been plenty of women who hopped over the fence and came right back. Some of them are on this platform, other platforms, and they will tell you that the grass is not green on the other side. But again, it's your life. Do it is do what you want with it, you know, but don't sit here and blame a whole group of men why you can't find love because at the end of the day you don't have to deal with people who you feel like are beneath you who you feel like are not as accomplished as you but you choose to do it anyway because deep down you don't feel accomplished you feel very insecure and you want to play the blame game even though it it, it just doesn't work like that it really doesn't